So I think people write books because they have something they want to say or something they want to share. And what I want to share with, uh, with this work is um, a way to add a series of tools and different methods to a standard macroeconomics course. Um, so I think the typical macroeconomist picks a book and the books are really roughly pretty similar. They're all going to do a Keynesian model. They're all going to do a solo model. They're going to have some graphs and they're going to talk about C, I, and G, and GDP. Um, but I think what's missing in all of that is that they're all going to teach the material basically the same way. And I think what you want to be a really, really effective teacher is you want to have some variation in your delivery. So it's just like a baseball pitcher. So you can't just have one pitch. You got to have some some weapons in your arsenal and your portfolio. What you should do if you want to really, really be an effective teacher, this is straight out of sort of modern learning theory, neuroscience, you, you want to vary what you do in your classroom. Some days you, you do that, but other days you have a discussion of something that's been read. Other days you have a sort of a lab session, computer lab if you can, or other thing. You could, you could flip the classroom. You could have students do, watch something or do something and then come back in and work problems. That's, I think, what we're learning is the most effective way to teach. And what this book does is it gives people uh, an easy way to, a low cost way, to vary their delivery. Uh, this book shows clearly, I think, how to um, use Excel to do the basic macro models, the solo model, the Keynesian model, how to get data. Um, it just shows these very basic concepts, how to do them in a very non-standard way. So I think the, the techniques are uh, pedagogical or teaching techniques and the approaches that I'm covering there um, include the idea of flipping a classroom, so the, the screencasts and the voiceover narration. Um, there are also some content uh, kind of ideas that I I do, I think, a, a little bit differently than a standard book. So, for example, the solo model, um, most economists, when they teach this very, very difficult model to understand for an undergraduate student, um, they draw a graph and they use uh, this intersection point of the graph to explain that that's the solution, but it's, it's quite hard to understand that when you have technological progress in this graph. Um, it turns out that if you just simulate it, if you just open an Excel file and just sit there and and put in the elements of the, of the uh, economy, consumption, investment, capital formation, the change in capital, and you evolve the model, you can explain the steady state and you can see where the equilibrium is. And while many macroeconomists could pretty quickly put such a file together on their own, um, my contribution is to have this pre-prepared file all ready to go for you, and it's got these sort of buttons and scroll bars with visual basic code and sort of all these bells and whistles that you just click on some buttons and, and it all happens very, very easily and very, and very quickly and naturally. Um, so I think, I think the contribution of the book is the pedagogical techniques, but there's also some, some interesting content in there also. I think professors that are interested in their teaching and care about their students um, would find some, if not all, of the material really quite engaging and uh, I think can make great use of it. I, I tried to write the book and I created these materials so that they're adaptable and malleable and really quite flexible. So in the hands of a skilled teacher and someone who really knows what they're doing, um, you can just get a lot of new ideas and get a lot of a different kind of facets or different views of the already existing material in your book. The, any, any, any macro book you have will have a Keynesian model and it'll say something about ISLM or it'll say something about um, consumption or investment over time and they'll have some data and they'll have some graphs. But what you can do with what you can do with this book and a professor interested in their teaching, what they can do is use this material as an alternative to the standard. So I think one of the things that I think it's important to understand about this project is that it's not meant at all to be a substitute for an existing 
curriculum or an existing textbook choice or a macro course. It's very much complementary and it's very much a way to add um, a different way of viewing things and doing things. And, and I think that's the real contribution that I'm making, that it's a way to give professors interested in their teaching and improving their courses an alternative to the usual fare. So I've been pleased to be able to run several different workshops um, in Greencastle, Indiana at DePaul University over the years. And last year I did one at the University of Edinburgh, which was a lot of fun. And, and every time at the, at the end, at the conclusion of the, the workshop, um, I'm amazed at the positive reaction that I've gotten. And I think the fundamental reason for that reaction is that people are just so amazed at what Excel can actually really do. I think everyone understands that Excel is a spreadsheet and you can add numbers with it and you have columns of data and you can draw graphs. That's all very, very easy. But people just don't know about Solver and about the ability to do comparative statics, the ability to run, to get FRED. There's a FRED Excel add-in and you can just directly use Excel as a browser and directly download the data into Excel. I know almost all macroeconomists at this point know that FRED exists and they even have their students go and they use you know Chrome or Internet Explorer or they use a browser and they get the data and then they download it into Excel file and then they open it in Excel and all of that is a ginormous waste of time. Excel can just directly suck in the variables right into Excel. It, it is a very very amazing tool and the ability to do random numbers and to do simulation in Excel. It's got so many capabilities that people just don't know about. Um, and I think that's the thing over the years as I've been developing these materials, I've really enjoyed just seeing how flexible and powerful Excel is. And, and what I'm trying to do is, is share some of this. So the, the book, while the, while the um, Excel workbooks the Excel files themselves and the screencasts are all freely available online. What the book does um, in the hands of a capable, uh, caring macroeconomist, um, what the book just gives you a bunch of different options and ways of, of doing things differently, the same things, but doing them differently. And I think in terms of pedagogical success, that, that is a big, big advantage because it gives students a different way of seeing things. And I think when, when people go to the workshops, that's what they, I'm able to show them that and just very quickly, and they're able to realize, wow, I could really do this so much better and I could really, really improve my teaching. And, and the people that go to those workshops, obviously they're very self-selected. They, they're going to spend two or three days with me, um, and so they, they care about their teaching quite a bit. Um, but I think even if you only cared about a little, and you just wanted to be a better teacher, um, I think it would be worth looking at these materials because you don't have, I mean, you could just take one or two or even three days out of your whole semester and just do a little bit of this, just kind of dip your toe in the water and see how you like it and then, and then, uh, and then see what happens. So, so I'm hoping that this will give some professors a, a chance to improve their teaching.